but it's super exciting to talk about Joyride. You, as a viewer, are taking us on a full Joyride with, can I start with landscaping, a side of the storyline. Can you talk a little bit about that? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, the, so the film is set um, in the in the west coast of Ireland in a, the beautiful County Kerry, which is the southwestmost corner of Ireland. And um, the writer lives there and the whole film is set there. So they go on a, you know, it's a feel good kind of odd couple road movie where they travel through the Kerry landscape and uh, the landscape has to be, you know, it, it is, it, well, certainly we hope it is, you know, another character in the film. It's, it's beautiful. It's wild. It's untamed. It's kind of, you know, it's poetic and mythical and, 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 rain one minute beautiful sunshine the next like like this wild untamed Irish landscape so it's part of the story that they journey through this beautiful place um and and they change as the landscape changes and we, we journey up and down all over mountains lakes over a, over an estuary you know and 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 as uh, as the landscape and they change they th these two characters kind of start to trust each other and turn towards each other and uh that that's that's how the film progresses so speaking of these characters i am pretty curious to how you found charlie to play molly because he was an exceptional actor in this film yeah he's he's an incredible young actor he's this was his very first film role he had done some um small amount of tv and some amateur uh, theatrical drama um so we we found him from a pool of we started with I believe about fifteen hundred young men taped, um, and over a four month period Charlie read for me about six or seven times, and we whittled it down uh, to eventually Charlie uh, taking the role. But he was a lead, he was a front runner from very early on, because of what you see in the movie, um, his instincts, his charm, his. His bravery, you know, he's he's a beautiful, natural, instinctive actor who's really, really present in the scenes. And I, I you know, he's got Mully as as a character is, is, you know, is he has both this cheeky, bold little side, but also this very sensitive little boy who's lost his mom. So it required a lot of maturity and a lot of range. And uh, we we really felt Charlie had it. And when we met him, we did a chemistry reading with him and Olivia before we cast him and uh, knew immediately, you know, they, they just clicked. They were just such an incredible, you know, movie pair, this oddball little couple who uh, start off by bickering and hating each other. And, and, you know, they're going to learn to really care for each other and learn from each other. They had awesome chemistry, Olivia and Charlie. And one of the things that was from the storyline I loved is how Charlie's character Molly just breaks out the mother and the character of Joy, can you talk a little bit about that and bring that up? Yeah, it's, you know, I think one of the one of the, the the story arcs of the film is that he Joy Molly teaches Joy how to be a mother, as you say, it, it breaks out the mother in her. She's so resistant, but he teaches her and brings her in and and leads her through that path. But she also teaches him how to be a child. She allows him to let go of maybe his, you know, his, his learned behavior, he's maybe hardened up because of the death of his mother and the, his behavior at the, at the hands of his manipulative father, you know, so they're both learning from each other and allowing each other to unfurl. And uh, it's, it's incredible to see and that, and that, that particularly that idea of this young boy teaching this, you know, so motherhood is not a, like it is a learned behavior. It is something we might need to, he's he's almost the mother in this film when he teaches her how to love her child. He teaches her to feel her, feed her child. He teaches her how to let go, maybe forgive her own mother, forgive the wounds of her past. Or he does all of that by being so brave and so present and so um, open, you know, he allows her to to blossom as well. How familiar was Charlie to babies and I mean breastfeeding? <laughs> yeah, not not at all. He 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 has no he had no babies in his life. Like he had I think he had a cousin who had a baby, but he wasn't familiar with babies at all. So in rehearsal time, we talked a lot about him having to be um 
really at ease with babies, you know, all the bits of babies. So he spent an awful lot of time with uh, Shalom and the two twin boys who played the baby. He spent a lot of time in their trailer when he wasn't on set, feeding the babies, nursing them, carrying them around, you know, playing with them, talking to them, really to to learn. He's such a hardworking young man. He was only 14 when he shot the film and he took it upon himself to, to become a child in the film that you totally buy. You go, this this little boy knows babies inside out. He's, you know, he knows his way around. So when that scene comes, when he's 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 helping her to feed, he's totally as as Charlie himself and as Molly the character. It's so easy for him. It's so ordinary. This is just, you know, everyday business. You know, babies feed, and and that's just normal. So he, he Charlie, all credit to Charlie. He did all of that himself because he wanted it to seem really natural and. Uh, He's a very mature young boy. He's a very mature young man. He he he's really pro best feeding. <laughs> you know, he's really a, a kind of a champion for that being um, uh, demystified and and just being an ordinary part of 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 Joy's journey and and the baby's journey. Well, thank you so much for the time to talk about Joyride. It was a lovely film that takes us definitely by a joyful ride. Thank you so much, Nancy. You're welcome. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.